Olds, a Central Ohio Congresswoman, is already making controversial statements about the deputy who pulled the trigger. Colleen Marshall is here with details on the letter that Representative Joyce Beatty sent to outgoing Attorney General William Barr. Colleen. Well, of course, the Justice Department is overseeing the federal part of this investigation, the FBI, into whether the constitutional rights of Casey Goodson were violated. And tonight, this is the letter. Beatty's office is standing behind what she says in the letter. In it, she calls Jason Mead, the deputy, a murderer. Even though the investigation is still ongoing and no charges have been filed, murder or any other charges. In part, Beatty says in the letter, although a routine reality when black in America, Mr. Goodson's murderer was one of the very individuals who swore to protect and serve him and his family. She promises to review the findings of the U.S. Attorney's Office and work with her congressional colleagues to make systemic long-term changes to the operations of police departments nationwide. The attorney for Deputy Meade also responding to Beatty's letter telling us in a statement today, as criminal defense attorneys, we do not have the luxury of leaping to a conclusion before an investigation has even begun. We work to protect our clients' constitutional, procedural, and statutory rights regardless of station in life, gender, political views, employment, race, creed, and sexual orientation. Now you can read this letter, Beatty's letter to William Barr, the Attorney General, and the response of Deputy Meade's attorneys right now at our website, NBC4I.com.